motherfucker. What up guys, JK Dream Mode, and today's dial is gonna be more of an accessory. Kinda of like when you buy like a Marvel Select that it comes with some type of like platform or some type of dial accessory that goes with the figure, right? So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. Something more on a smaller scale, nothing too crazy. And today's inspiration is the Predator, the one from 1987. Oh, son of a bitch. Boom. Here you got the Predator, the Jungle Hunter. Ooh. We got Arnold. And the final piece that makes this amazing. The skinless body. I did not know they sold this guy. Thank you, NECA. You guys did a great job. So right here, what you're seeing here is the 30th anniversary of the NECA line of the original Predator. And today's inspiration is going to be for these guys. So what I want to do is I want to use all these three guys, right? But I want to build something that's going to unify them all together. And what came what came up to my mind is a big tree. So I want to build a big tree in the center and have these guys kind of like surrounding the tree. So that's what I'm going to build building today. So before we start, I'm going to go over the materials I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using project foam, fine green uh, turf, rope, acrylic paint, Black spray paint, brown spray paint, adhesive. This is some green bush. Fake. So this is what I'm going to be using for today's build. So let's get started. So you see here, is, these are all the cubes, I'm stacking them up, and it's actually a pretty good height. So what I'm gonna do next is basically I'm just gonna glue each of these cubes together into one big log. So then I'll have one, uh, I'll have a log of, of foam, and then I can start shaping it by carving it into I'm using this foam cutter and uh, this one is recommended guys <clears throat> and it's pretty instant too So, <clears throat> this is my carve. It's not perfect, right? <laughs> it's definitely not perfect. Um, but the best part about this is that this is gonna give us a starting point of the shape of the tree, but to make it look like a real tree, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna wrap this up with toilet the kitchen uh, paper towel is actually a lot thicker, so let's use that instead. Some black paint, and some water. So it's gonna be a black wash, right? But it's not a black wash. Basically, I'm just gonna kind of like paper mache this tree bark, right? 
gonna just wrap it. Get this, get this water and start painting it. Start getting it wet. Cool part is, look at that. It starts making all these little wrinkles. This is what's gonna give it that realistic look. Basically, now that it's fair, just wait for it to dry. It is where it's dry, and it's still soft though. So, next up is let's put a coat of paint. All right, so it's dry. It saved a lot of the creases. It's not that bad. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now dry brush it. Just brush and just dry brush it. You see that? Because of those wrinkles from the from the, the kitchen paper towel, yeah, the paper towel from the kitchen. Um, Look okay. at It's bringing out all this natural texture. Vines, bark, whatever you want to call it. it, gives it that characteristic of a tree. So, this is kind of like the basis, right? Now you can you know put a base and then i would um a pretty cool technique to making this a another layer of realism is uh you could put now um grass on the base so the next step is if you want to start adding some like grass on the root right you go two ways about it obviously you need glue House Podge is a pretty good, uh, I guess, uh, adhesive or some type of glue. You could definitely use this. To, you could definitely just brush it on the bottom of the of the tree, and then 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 sprinkle the grass. Or if you want to go faster, use adhesive. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do adhesive. Okay. Okay, so I just did a little area right there, right? Nothing too crazy. The grass. So, here's some grass. Let me put in focus. Here's some grass, and I'm just gonna just sprinkle it. Alright. Look at that. So you keep repeating this method until you're satisfied with the result. Okay. Next thing that I'm gonna do is that I wanna create like vines coming down the tree, right? So with the reference I was seeing in the movie, you know, they look like little Tarzan little ropes, you know? 
and then you put them to the side and it looks like a whole bunch of vines right so, so what I'm using is I have this rope basically I'm just gonna just split them did this one instead I mean I like this result more this looks more like a vine this is like a right so if I if I create a whole bunch of these <clears throat> around the tree Now another thing you can do, but it requires a bit of finesse, is we can make real fine um, rope or maybe like you could say web, right? Some of these trees have webs, right? So you could do is that with the, with the glue gun, right? pull slowly, right? Into the air, look at that, and keep dragging. See how much I can pull, right? Until it snaps. And once it does, look at that. it's real fine. Real fine. You can repeat this pattern. Alright, so I got some leftover bushes from when I, the Michael Mario project. Um, so basically, I'm gonna just like rip one of these twigs. Ah, look at this. I love this thing because look, you could actually take them apart. And I'm gonna get these guys and start hanging them. Okay. So I'm gonna start hanging some of these like this. To make give it that tropical that tropical look, you know, you know, vines. guys it's done all right so this is the predator jungle scene and i wanted to kind of make a you could call this a diorama i like to call it an accessory but uh basically i just wanted to create this tree a big enough tree to give it a presence of them in the jungle hiding and hunting each other 
So here you got the predator with the human skull with the spine. Here you got the skinless body. And here you got Arnold. Um, kind of like hiding from him and going after him. Adding the vines, adding the the leaves. It really gives it that that jungle presence. And it's not huge. That was the that was the point. I did not want this to be a huge piece. I wanted it to be an accessory. And uh, I'm I'm really liking it. Hope you guys enjoy watching me just make a tree. Please write a comment, hit that like button, and then please subscribe guys. Peace. Yeah,